Greek protesters put out a call for support. Huge banners at the Acropolis in Athens ask for Europe-wide demonstrations on Thursday when a strike across the country will take place in Greece. Protests have been going on for nearly two weeks in Greece after a teenage boy was shot dead by police on December 6. Earlier on Wednesday, protesters blocked a road near an Athens courthouse where a report on the shooting was due to be released. The killing has fed anger over youth unemployment and other social issues and sparked the worst protests in decades. Hundreds of shops and cars have been wrecked in cities across the country. These police vehicles were set on fire outside a police station in Athens on Tuesday. On the same day, students interrupted a television news broadcast to protest media coverage of the unrest. Their banner urged viewers to stop watching television and get out in the streets. Protesters fought pitch battles with riot police outside the Greek parliament in the 13th straight day of civil unrest. Clashes erupted after demonstrators hurled firebombs at the building and tried to burn down a Christmas tree in the square outside. Police responded with tear gas and pepper spray. What began as a peaceful rally quickly descended into violence, transforming central Athens into a war zone and sending Christmas shoppers running for cover. It's been nearly two weeks since the fatal police shooting of a teenage boy, an act that lifted the lid off years of simmering discontent with the government. The killing was a breaking point for many young Greeks whose economic future is bleak in a country blighted by high unemployment and low wages. It's not just the young who are rioting for change. The teenager's death issued a clarion call for social and economic justice, cutting across class and party lines, even national borders. Demonstrations are taking place in several European cities. Greek Union staged a three-hour work stoppage, disrupting schools, hospitals, transport and grounding all but emergency flights into the country. Greece's worst disturbances in decades have caused hundreds of millions of dollars in damage, piling pressure on a government defending a fragile one-seat majority. Demonstrators and police clashed in the Greek capital after protesters threw bags of rubbish under the Christmas tree in the central square. Police sprayed pepper spray at the demonstrators who were showing their continued anger towards the police killing of a teenager two weeks ago. Police had been guarding the Christmas tree with their shields. They were trying to prevent the demonstrators from setting fire to it. The first tree was set alight and destroyed. Protesters attempted to do the same to another. The shooting of a 15-year-old boy by police sparked rioting and protests around Greece. His death came amid a wave of public unease over the state of the country's economy and education system. Many protesters say they'll continue to put pressure on the government into the new year. Angry scenes in Athens as youths and riot police clashed into the night. Police managed to force the protesters back into the Athens Polytechnic University. They hurled rocks and petrol bombs at police, who responded by firing tear gas into the crowds. The clashes took place after demonstrators visited the site where a teenager had been shot dead by police. The incident happened two weeks ago, and the unrest in Athens and other parts of the country hasn't stopped. Earlier on, demonstrators had thrown firebombs at the finance ministry and torched cars. The violence has caused hundreds of millions of euros worth of damage. It's the worst violence that the country has seen in decades. Analysts say the continuing unrest could force the Conservative government to call early elections.